Hi everyone, it's Gail and I'm here with the Etsy shares. So for a bit here, they may be Sunday or Monday, depending yesterday, all day at our granddaughter's volleyball. And um, we outdid our record. Our record was seven hours in the gym and yesterday we spent eight hours in the gym. <laughs> So anyway, uh, suffice to say, no time to do an Etsy share video. So, um, so here we are today. And first of all, we have inked paper art. And that's my pal Kate. And um, I'll show you what Kate sent today. Oh, we'll, we'll get to that at the bit. Okay, so let's see. What did she send today? Oh my goodness, look at this lace. Oh boy, isn't that fun? Love some gingham. So fun. Okay, let's pull her out because there is a note. Vintage laces, ass assortment of some of the laces in my shop, she says. Oh my goodness, she's got a little bit of everything in here. So, um, ooh, look at this trim. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, bits of all sorts of lace. Eyelets, this kind of fun lace. Oh my goodness. Yes, she's got all sorts of laces, guys. Look at this one. I love that with the circles. And an eyelet, all sorts. These are really fun to play with too. I kind of forgot about those. Maybe we'll have to do a Forgotten Friday with uh, little, little tiny little tiny ones look at this one that's really cool it's flipped up but you see that oh my goodness oh look at this oh these are gorgeous I love the dainty the daintiness of those and just all sorts of laces oh look at that pretty blue gingham oh that's going to be fun on a spring journal Yes. Oh, thank you, Kate. I love all of them. They're awesome. So inked paper art, guys. And of course, the links will be in the description box below, along with any announcements or um, sale things. You know, all the sales too are in there. Okay. So that is, she's got a great assortment of laces. Oh, and then she does mar uh, does monthly kind of um, different uh, paper packs in different colors. So this is March green, which is very suitable for what was St. Patrick's Day and all. So let's just show you what all is in here. So she's got what three? Looks like about a dozen. Um, sheets of dyed paper which look at that is that not yummy great for a nature journal or spring journal she's got a little music card some dyed tags a fun stenciled um index card a couple of those in different sizes a dyed library pocket some old bus tickets and some lace in that packet. Oh, that is fun. That is super fun, Kate. I love it. Oh, excited about those green papers. Yep, that one's for March. And then April will be some different color that remains to be seen. Coming soon, she says, though. So, so there's March there. Then this is pastel baked pattern paper, various patterns. Let's just take a look. Oh, I love it. I love Kate's paper. Look at that. Um, avocado dyed, I would guess, with little squares and little circles. Oh, very fun. Different colors, and all these are wonderful spring colors. This one's kind of a, like a, a dull lavender, if, if 
that is a description at all. And then green, and then another avocado. So it's a nice thick paper paper pack. What does she have in here about? Looks like about a dozen again. Those are awesome, Kate. And then blueberry dyed paper is the next one. So this blueberry dyed does come out a lovely shade of purplish, purplish, lavenderish. Ooh, what I love about this is it has like little flecks in it. That's super cool. Look at that. Ooh, positively yummy. So this is blueberry dyed. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I love it. I am having a hankering to do the purple themed journal. I don't have it in my in my prepared things for my retreats, but maybe we'll just have to do it on the side. Oh, that is gorgeous. Gorgeous blueberry dyed paper. Thank you, Kate. Such a lucky girl. Then this one, um, you know, lacy patterns. Let's look. And the lacy patterns. Ooh. And she says, as always, lots of coffee dyed papers in various lace and other patterns. Cards and envelopes, too. Oh, so pretty. Love it. Mm. It's beautiful. Ooh, that one. I love that one. Ooh, that's really pretty, too. So intricate and such a crisp detail. I don't know how people do that. I admire that skill. Okay, then I have a little announcement with this next pack that Kate sent along. Okay, so let me let me make myself some room here, guys. Put this these laces down there. Okay, so um, this one is all from France, France, available in my shop, and lots more antique ledgers and documents so she um sent this packet of all these fun antique ledgers and then she sent me once i get these out so i can concentrate on what i'm doing here Ooh, those are wonderful look at that all from france and so what she wanted me to tell you is I wanted to let you and your viewers know that when they purchase any of my antique vintage documents, ledger pages, etc., they can scan, copy, and reprint to use in both physical and digital artwork as they wish if they don't want to use the originals. It would be great if they linked my Etsy shop where they purchase them from, but, um, but that's not a requirement. But it's ink paper art. So, um, yeah, I, as you know, I'm a great believer in giving credit where credit is due and promotion of the shops. So I'd appreciate it if you linked them and if you've got a um, YouTube channel. Look at that. That's a, a real stamp on there. Receipt from 1903, Paris. Yep, 1903. Oh my gosh, that's gorgeous. I'm going to take that off just because it scares me that it will rip it. Look at the telephone. 274-01. <laughs> Stamped and embossed sealed legal document from France. And this is rag paper. Oh my goodness, isn't that a treasure? Oh, I just love them. <clears throat> 1940s schoolwork report with technical drawings and really cool handwriting <laughs> wow this one 1890 french track ledger great paper yeah it is great paper 
Mm. That is great. And if you scan these and then and then reprint them, you can print them on <clears throat> like linen paper and they will feel similar. 1819 French notary ledger. I don't know. Personally, I have a hard time using the originals of these. I, uh, someday when I'm long gone, somebody's going to find a treasure trove of old documents in my craft room because, oh, I just think they're so cool. And I do like to, um, I do like to scan them. This one um, is on onion skin, but you know, you could scan it and then reprint it on onion skin too. 1911 French ledger receipts, a blank ledger paper, and then 1990s Bank of France antique le ledger. This is a big one. If you scanned that, you'd have to go sideways and you could go, you could get four pages out of it. Oh, that's beautiful. Those are awesome. Awesome, Kate. And it was very kind of her to send me the um, email saying that, you know, we're welcome to scan them if we don't want to use the originals. But please do acknowledge inked paper art when you do. So that's super fun. Yes, Kate, thank you so much. That was super fun. Okay, let me do this. I wanted to show you this, but I'll flip it over. So this was the envelope from my pal Delinda at Glue Patch Studio, and she um, sewed all on it. You will see that in my this week's um, Marguerite Miller Challenge, <laughs> that sewing. So um, let's see here. Yep, oh, this is... Oh, this is her. Okay, so let me look at her um, note for just in cases. There's something I need to see. Oh, she was getting these out in time for spring and Easter projects. A few things she's restocked in her shop. So she has this beautiful ribboned lace. Look at that in all sorts of spring colors. That just screams spring, doesn't it? They're beautiful. Can you see those? Okay, let me let me just look because they are in the in the packaging. But this one is incredible. It's got kind of um, antique edges, and then there's green, purple, yellow, and blue. Those are awesome. Love them. Then um, these are Easter journal cards with decoration. And they're all in shape. So there's a carrot. There's a bunny. Oh, look. And there is an Easter egg. Oh my gosh, those are adorable. Those are adorable. Thank you, Delinda. Dee Dee. I always forget because I love the name Delinda. <laughs> so, anyway, either way, either way, Glue Patch Studio, shall we say. And then these are Easter journal cards in collage. So same sort, but in collage. Oh, such fun, such fun Eastery. It does feel like spring here, I will say. But guess what? It's supposed to snow tomorrow. <laughs> okay, Glue Patch Studio. Thank you, Dee Dee. Thank you, Delinda. Thank you, Glue Patch Studio. Okay. Glue Patch Studio. Let's see what else here. Let me put them. Oh, sorry, guys. Okay, let's do these. Um, so from Chapter One Papers. Let's see. I'm gonna scooch in a little bit for this. Uh, the French Florals collection from Chapter One. It's absolutely gorgeous. You guys, I did have some printing I wanted to get done um, of some kits that I purchased over the weekend. I just didn't get it done in time to film this, so those will probably be on next week's Etsy Share. Okay, so chapter one paper, French florals. Ooh, look at how well my shirt goes with those. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay. Oh my gosh. Aren't they gorgeous? They are gorgeous. I really love all of chapter one papers, digitals. They're just so pretty, you know? It's just, they're just pretty. That's lovely. So pretty. Love that. Oh, that's gorgeous. That one, French florals. Okay, let me and then there's French florals ephemera next I'm just gonna put them back together so I don't don't get myself mixed up French French florals ephemera Whew, I can't say that fast ten times see how pretty they they just have really pretty digitals I think Oh, I love those. I think I have a cover that I can use for this. Mm, I think it's so pretty. Those are gorgeous. My mind's a clicking because I have a another um, collaged cover, and I'm thinking if I put that on, I, I don't know. I don't know. We might have to play with that. So fun. These are awesome. Oh, great. French florals ephemera. Okay, and then label mixtures. Ooh, don't we love ourselves a good label? Look at all those different labels. Awesome and in different colors. Wow, these are great. Oh, I love these, love these. Fun to have an image on a label too. Oh, and it. And a little envelope for good measure in that one. Label mixtures, this one's called. Love it. Okay. Then forget me not. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, see how pretty. I mean, I just I just can't come up with another word. They're just pretty lace page. Ooh, that would be fun folded. Mm. Oh, I love it. Just love it. Look at these pretty little envelopes. Wow. Oh my goodness. Dainty and pretty. I mean, I just love, love, love them. Oh, and forget me not, seed packs. Yes, I saw the seed packs on Instagram, on their Instagram. I follow them on Insta. There we go. Okay, forget me not, seed packs. So go right along with the kit. Oh, lovely. Absolutely beautiful. Be fun to decorate too. Some of them don't really need it, but others it'd be fun to decorate too. Gosh. Oh, gorgeous kits, gorgeous kits. Chapter one papers. Absolutely love them. They're beautiful. Okay. So, thank you for beautifying this Etsy share. <laughs> Chapter one papers. Okay. And then, let's see. 
let's see what's in here. Oh, and I do have an announcement too. Look at how pretty that package is. Um, I have an announcement. We'll do that. So Vintage Studio 717. Um, she is going to have a sale in her Etsy shop because it's for her 50th birthday. And so she is going to have 50% off in her shop from the 23rd of March till the end of the month. So 50% off for 50 years. Yeah. So Jesse at Vintage Studio 717, I'll be adding that to the sales. Okay, this one, this one would be from the Sweet Shop Scraps. Let's see. So she's, she's got listed what she sent me. So she sent me a little, little tiny lace here on the package, which I love because I don't know about you, but I go through a lot of, you know, real thin lace like putting it on edges of pockets and things like that. So yeah, little, little tiny. That's awesome. And then a little journal card, little collage journal card. And then I think this is the, this is the actual Etsy share. And she minimized packaging, she said, because <laughs> she knows I struggle. Oh, that's, that's fun. Um, sewing pattern that I will repurpose. Okay. So the sweet shop scraps, we have splattered watercolor tags, um, food color, blue tea, coffee, and watercolor set of 10. So let's take a look. And then she put vintage laces on the top of each. So there's pink and there's blue and there's coffee and green. How fun is that green for a spring journal and purple. Oh, those are beautiful. Splattered tags. It feels like watercolor paper to me. Um, so they're nice, you know, they're nice weight, I guess. Okay. And so then, um, oh, this is, uh, this tiny trim, um, they're inches under a inch wide or they are laces under an inch wide and, um, Let's see. She sells the tiny trims in sets of 10 different tiny trims in a package. And she didn't send them all to me because, you know, she knows I have lace. <laughs> oh, fun little um, playing cards. Then she's got Carolyn. She's got her, her um, business card in there, too. So much fun. Uh, bee and Daisy napkins. Oh, so sweet. So there's, um, there's the examples of each. Those are really sweet. So those are the bee and, um, bee and Daisy napkins. And then let's see. Key bookmark or journal tie. It's a key bookmark with vintage seam binding. Um, she loved making these, she says. And um, let's see. I crinkled the seam binding and added the key and a bulb pin. Um, buttons and a charm. Could use to t wrap around a journal also. Oh, that's super cute. Look at that on the bulb pin. Love that. Okay. And then bunny clusters set of four. Oh my goodness. How cute are those little bunny fabric clusters? Let me get one out in my hand here. Sweet shop scraps. Oh, 
you tried to help me, Carolyn, and I still struggle. <laughs> Isn't that sweet? This little, little bunny fabric clusters for spring. Awesome. And then six by six envelopes that are vellum. Interesting. And she, she sends a set of 10, she says. So great for using as a big pocket or folding down into a smaller size. Oh, that is super fun. It'd be fun in a signature. You could fold it, you know, in half or like that. Make that a little tuck. Oh, yeah. We'll have to have a play with those. Really fun. So that's the that's the, the Sweet Shop Scraps. Carolyn, those are some of her awesome items. Oh, my goodness. Yes. All set. All set for spring we are. Okay. And then these two little things go with hers. So thank you so much, Carolyn. Oh, she's so sweet. Okay. So that is the Sweet Shop Scraps. Okay. One more. One more. And this one comes from the Rusty Gardener. So she tells me what. So her Etsy shop is the Rusty Gardener. Her YouTube is also the Rusty Gardener. And her name is Donna. So let's see. Um, look at these. These are little tattings. Um, and they are on a bulb pin. So like you can, almost like a little charm, you can put them on your you know, put them on your journal edge of the page or whatever. Oh my, that's, that's real pretty. That's real pretty. I love those. Okay. And then Oh, she says they're hand tatted bees. Oh, I see. Oh my gosh, those are so cute. Okay, and um, a blank paper bag journal. What? That's fun. Oh my gosh, I just did a big old long series over on my Patreon making a journal with paper bags. Oh, how fun is this? Yes. Yes, please, as they say. She's got envelopes and paper and bags. She's added all sorts of fun elements where mine was just paper bags. That's that's what it was. But this is lovely. That will be really fun to play with. Thank you, Donna. Okay, and then here are her kits. Um, Blue Bee and Vintage Love Story is what we have. So this one is the Blue Bee. Let me make sure I get into camera. I'll take it out of the package and then I'm going to get this one out, too, while I'm at it. <laughs> while I'm wrestling here, we'll go ahead and get this one out, too. Okay, there we go. All right. So, Blue Bee. Oh, my goodness. Isn't that pretty? Oh, I love it. She's printed this on kind of a, a very light cardstock that's ivory colored isn't that gorgeous the rusty gardener guys look at this isn't that beautiful oh i so donna tell us did you draw these oh my goodness they're absolute these little ladies are absolutely beautiful wow Oh, this is gorgeous. A gorgeous set digital kit. Blue bees. These look like journal cards. Yes. 
and tags. Oh, I want to know about these little ladies, Donna. Did you draw those? Isn't that pretty? Wow, this is a great kit. Look at the pockets and envelopes. Looks like I need to turn this around. Wow, I I just need to know about these ladies. Does she say anything in her letter? See, she wrote a beautiful letter. Hmm, she doesn't say. So, we need to hear from you, Donna. We need to know. Inquiring minds and all that. Absolutely a gorgeous kit. Oh, I love it. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, and then little, little sayings. So you can just make little labels of sayings. And then fussy cuts. Awesome. Oh my gosh, Donna, that is beautiful. And please tell us, please tell us about these ladies. Okay, and then this one, let's get it in frame here is Vintage Love Story Journal. Oh, these are the two. Maybe they have a little, there's a passport. Maybe they have a long distance relationship. England, Scotland, Ireland. Oh, there's another lady and a beautiful flower. I wonder, I think Donna might've drawn these. I do. I'm going to say she did. She can correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> wow, these are so pretty. I love the vintage feel of them. They're just wonderful. And some kind of backgroundy sorts pages. Back with other bird page, it says. Am my... I... I don't know, maybe we'll, maybe we'll figure that out in a minute. I'm sorry, I'm not too, gosh, gorgeous. Oh, back with the other bird page, there it is. So, these two, can you back them like so? and two dear pages you back back to back them oh my gosh I love her drawings so pretty journal cards and little words and pockets and stuff. Oh, these two. I love it. Have a hard time picking a favorite between the two. They're wonderful. Mm, look at it. It's like that's their little house where they're going to live when they finally get together. But right now, they're just writing to one another. And it costs a lot of money to live apart. <laughs> and, ooh, beautiful fussy cuts. And these are like watercolor. It makes me wonder if it's her watercolor. Donna, I need more info. I need to know. I need to know where these came from they're so it's it's just they're beautiful and here's some again some oh our love is like the wind i can't see it but i feel it it's always better when we're together oh that's beautiful that's a beautiful kit 
Donna, thank you for introducing yourself to us. Um, love, love your work. Love it. Need to know more about if this is original art or, or what. So anyway, I think that is it guys for this Etsy share. So I hope you have a grateful day and we will just see you in the next video. Bye.